Whew, it's cold, it's winter, and the biggest light show on this planet Earth, Vivid Sydney. So in this vlog and this video, I'm gonna give you eight tips to bring your Vivid Sydney photography to the next level. Okay, so tips number one, plan your trip. Opera House, it is the main location, but honestly man, Vivid Sydney is huge. The road closures are in many places, especially in the prime areas like this. Finding parking can be a challenge. With comfortable shoes, taking public transport, that'll be the way to go. To get more information about the lights installations, you can actually go to vividsydney.com and download the PDF map from there. That's gonna help you to plan the trip. When we're talking about Vivid Sydney, we're talking about night photography and we're talking about long exposure photography. So stabilizing your camera is essential. Please do yourself a favor. Please use a tripod. Next tips will be catch the light trails. These will be the common tactics I've seen during this festival. With the colorful boats and cruisers wandering around the harbor, why not just grab all these beautiful colorful lights to your advantage? So the next tip is make the crowd work for you. Use the crowd to your benefit. You gotta remember guys, like this show, it draws millions of attention. All people from around the world coming to this city during this time for the Vivid Sydney. It's almost inevitable that you're gonna avoid the crowd. So might as well use the crowd to your benefit. On top of that as well, having people in your photos gives you that sense of scales of the object that you're shooting. And I personally like the shutter speed of one tenth of a second to about five seconds because it gives sense of chaos and that basically blur out all those people in the photos and make it look like a nice, really, you know, chaotic trail. But if you don't prefer to have that night to yourself, like to you have a quiet night, then pay attention to this. Weak night, cold weather and rain. And you know, normally those combinations gonna shoot people away. When it's cold, it's gonna get quiet. So you can come during the weeknight, during the cold weather, under the rain, and you're gonna have the visit to yourself. Apart from being quiet, rain transforms these lights playground into patches of mirrors. So use it to your advantage. So I would recommend to shoot very low to the ground and you can get that nice reflective image. So for the next tips, I call it see the unseen. So basically what it is, is you take the shots intentionally while the object's actually not in focus. To avoid the camera to gain focus again when you press the shutter button, I recommend you to switch the camera to the manual focusing mode. And you can see the landscape turning into beautiful, colorful bubbles. And you can control how big the bubbles are by turning the focusing ring on your lens, just like what I'm doing now. It's getting chill. All right guys, the so next tips, I call it twist the barrel. So what it does is basically we're going to do zoom in or zoom out while the shutter is open. What I normally do is I set the shutter to one second, you hit it half a second and then twist. So that half a second actually let the main image to set and then the next half a second is to create that trail. Whether you want to zoom in or zoom out, then it's up to your preference and you can play around with the exposure time as well. It's starting to rain, people are shooing off now. It's 
getting quiet. Just like what I said in my previous tip, just the last tip for tonight, remember to have fun. With all these glorious lights just happening before your eyes, it's not supposed to be just stored in the memory cards. You gotta have fun. Embrace the moment. Embrace the lights. It's beautiful. And keep Australia beautiful. See ya.